queen of the stitch, my girl Dane the Dane. Hello there, my crafty knitters. This is Crafty Knits. Welcome to the Knit Oaks channel. And today I'm going to show you how to knit on double pointed needles. Double pointed needles is exactly what it is. It has two end points. There's no stopper as on a straight needle. Okay, so we start with our slip knot as everything else. First. It's, uh, one easy way to make the slip knot. All right. You draw it tight and you cast on as you would so it's under the thumb around and down tighten and we're just going to cast on maybe like 10 stitches in a pack of double pointed needles there's either four or five needles in this pack of um, needles that I bought there's five so I'm going to show you how to knit um, on four double, double pointed needles and using the fifth one as a working needle. So, and I've distributed all my stitches, my cast on stitches, amongst the four um, double pointed needles. So now it's time to join in the round. So this is where you finished, this is where you began. That's how you join the round. So using your fifth double pointed needle that came in your package, and if you're casting on onto just three, you use your fourth one to do what I'm about to do next. Make sure that you're not using your long tail cast on. Make sure that when you cast, when you are completed, you make sure that it's the yarn you're working with is the one that's attached to the yarn. That's very important because there's plenty of times where I get caught up and I just start knitting and don't realize I picked up the wrong string out of the two that are hanging. Okay, so the, one of the tricky parts is holding it all together and not getting it all in the face and stuff. So, sorry. Um, you're going to knit as you would. I knit tight, so pardon my uh, tight stitches here, but I'm used to that. Okay, again, making sure that you have the right yarn, which is for me this. Don't mind the other needles. Just try to keep them behind you as much as possible. And then you begin to knit as you would. Like so, lift it off. That's all it takes, literally, to knit in the round. So see, now the two rows are connected by that string right there. Um, and so what I like to do is place my marker there Most projects require that you place your marker. So do that like that and just snap this in place and leave it there so I know when I'm getting back to a new round. And take your working yarn and you continue to knit as you would. Yeah, I'm kind of wishing I did not. <laughs> knit so tightly for this tutorial, but I can't help it. So we're going to knit to the end of this row. I've only cast it on about 15 or so stitches. Maybe it's 14 per needle. I hope that you can see this. Is it too bright? get all up in there. See, the other needles, they're like dancing around, but just focus on the two you're working on. Oh, one second. This light is uh, doing a number on my eyes. There we go. I hope you can still see. Let's 
See, I'm just knitting as I normally would. And even though this other needle is uh, dancing, you just got to try to keep them down. Hold on one second. So you just transferred stitches from one needle to the next, but you'll always have four needles with yarn and a thick working needle. Hold on, let me adjust myself here. Okay. So you've completed one row, and then you just move it to the next side. It's, it's all about how you handle it, because this, this is the shape. It's making a circle. So it's another option to circular needles, but this method is highly used when you're starting a hat, ending a hat, because it can get to a, the smallest amount of stitches, whereas a circular needle with the wire in between it won't allow you to... Uh, knit four stitches or something but double pointed needles uh, can do that for you because you can work right around them because they're double pointed okay so we're going on to our second needle okay crafty knitters we are back after our first row um, and see how nice it is see the stitches this is the knit side this is the pearl side. But also, this is what's used mostly when you're making socks. They have sets of double pointed needles for that purpose specifically. Tinier than these, of course, and much thinner. But uh, basically, that's all, and I hope that you found it very helpful. Here's our little marker. So, And I'm back at the beginning, so if I wanted to do another row, this, this is how I know I'm, I'm beginning row two. Okay? So... Thank you for watching, God bless, and remember, knitting is sexy. Bye!